Hello, hello. Hello. Welcome to All About the Bass. I'm Lee. I'm Cece. Today we are looking at some amplification. Um, uh, an old classic has got some new rivals. We, we you'll be fitting with the, the, the rumble familiar. I'm um, happy. <laughs> Should I just yeah. start that again? <laughs> He's back. So you will be familiar with the Fender Rumble. At this size, power, and price range, it's pretty much uh, ruled the roost, as it were. The for daddy. The daddy. It's been the daddy. Um, along with its different sized friends, you know, the 500 and the smaller ones. You may have seen, we did another video when there was another new kid on the block. We'll talk about this in a second. Um, which you maybe find just over here somewhere, or maybe a link here, which is the Rumble versus the Ampeg Rocket, which was another one that came out just a few years back, or a couple of years ago. Um, which was lightweight, powerful, same sort of thing as the as the Rumble. But now, so yeah, check that out if you haven't seen that. But if Mark Bass is more your thing, you know, more, more your vibe, more of your sound, they brought out something to join the mix, really. So now we've got a few companies, Ashdown, Rumble, um, Fender, obviously, Ampeg. Now, Mark Bass adding a higher quality, but very lightweight, portable yeah. combo. So we are looking at that today, and hopefully you enjoy this. We are looking at a 115 speaker and 150 watts as is. It's you know just a straight, like just nice combo. Very, very simple to use, like the Rumble and its other friends. It's pretty much just whatever's on the front. There's no you know dials or menus or digital things like that. Plug in and play and a few extras on the back. So we'll, we'll go through that now. So, um, so interestingly. Oh, yes, sorry, that's 150 watts. Yes. That's 100 watts. Actually, but that's smaller. Yeah, yeah. Good shout. And actually, it's <laughs> pretty I, impressive. I'm pretty sure that is a 112 in this one. This is the 100 <laughs> watt we've got. So that's a 112. This is a 115. So yeah, they've been very uh, economical with the space. Yeah. Really. This is like just a speaker, I think, and nothing else around it. That's going to have something. I'm not too sure. Sometimes I have a little little they tweeter, do. but I don't think this this does. It's only the the larger models. So. Um, but yeah, you're right. Yeah, for a bigger speaker, you're actually in a smaller, smaller cabinet size. We've got a scooping sort of contour EQ button that will give you your mid, mid scooped sound. Um, you've got your gain, a boost function, so a little bit more volume boost. Low, mid low, mid high, high, so four band EQ uh, and a master. So uh, very, very simple, but hopefully, I mean, so we haven't, apart from that intro you just heard, we haven't really tested this out yet to see if no. it's got the mark based thing you know which is to my ears normally a quite a mid heavy sort of punchy sound yeah i'm um, interested to hear it isolated yeah there are you might see i've got one this side of me as well i don't know if you can see oh look at this thanks Oz. this little little one here as well this has got a few less features like it hasn't got a di or anything but that is more of just a practice size amp if that's what you're after 40 watts right that is 40 watts yeah yeah nice one this one's around sort of 230 pounds um but that's going to be a yeah a beautiful beautiful practice amp this one you're looking around the sort of 350 360 which is really the top of where they go and you've got 154 watts <laughs> That sounded lovely. 
did. I was curious to know actually how much low end it can kick out before it starts struggling, and it didn't. So, yeah. yeah, I felt that. Yeah, same. Especially that low C. You're going down yeah. there, and it's it really, really holds up. That that's low decent. mid dial is really nice. Oh, nice. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Oh, that's always something I, I'm, I'm sort of gravitate to now. Yeah. On my uh, the V7 or the V10 or whatever it is. Just boosting that a little bit, those low mids can really, really work well yeah. if you've got a nice brightness on the top at the same time to balance it out. But yeah, it's lovely. So that's the, your, your general workings. Um, there is an ascend and return effects loop on the back if you wanted to bypass um, most of this and obviously plug through your the pedals and things like that. That's all good. For practice, you've got auxiliary in and phones as well. So if you wanted to use it as a, a little monitor as well, having your music run through. Like most of these do, you know, these, these sort of this sort of level, it's, it's kind of geared to a brilliant practice amp, and you can go and gig with it in some small gigs as well. So um, most of those features you'll find on all of these as well. So that is I was lovely. Pretty impressed actually. Like no matter how much you pushed everything, it didn't sound like a small amp. No. Which is, I always think that's a good test. If a small amp doesn't sound like a small amp, that's, it's a good amp. That's a good shout. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's, it looks could be deceiving, is yeah. what I would say. And I'm sure this still kicks it out. I mean, Mark Bass have made their name pretty much on, I think I remember the, the Micro Mark, the little eight inch speaker. I remember being at Jam Night and looking for like, what is that? That sounds huge. And like, is that a bass amp? And so they've made their, their name through making a lot of power fit in very small packages. Yeah. <laughs> so, so you would hope that, yeah, they, they know what they're doing when you get down to this sort of level. But I mean, even just on price there, I'll mention it quickly. Obviously this is, I think about 359, 360. So actually compared to this, it's only 30 quid more than the Rumble. Yeah. yeah. You know, and not many more features because they've got their own contour and bright switches, same sort of thing and very, very simple. I think it's just gonna be, if you can, come in, try it, A, B them all, you know, or, or you know, say, I'll do a little bit more playing now. Hopefully that, that gives you the thing that you need mm. out of an amp. In my opinion, as someone who is a fan of the rumble, I'm actually really impressed with that. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I thought it would be a good amp, but I'm actually quite surprised. <laughs> like, nice. it really has stacked up. Um, but to me, the Fender Rumble is slightly lighter, something to note, but Absolutely. I mean, it's not a heavy amp by any means coming from me. Just, if you're trying to decide which one to get, isn't so much is one good or one bad because they're both really great amps. I think when you're trying them, see which one you like the sound of more because they do sound fairly different. Mark Bass, of course, are fairly known for being quite mid-rangey and it is, but it sounds great. So it really just depends what kind of sound you prefer and whether the yeah. slightly more weight is an issue or not. That's the, it, I, you know, I completely forgot, like, the, yeah, the main setting point is that, that weight. And yeah. I'm sort of like, yeah, no, it sounds great. But I didn't actually feel it myself. So I was literally just going to actually have a little go. I'll ruin up the display. Oh, no, it's, see, it's still not heavy, heavy. Oh, but you're right. It is light. <laughs> that is so light. <laughs> I guess um, though, that is slightly more powerful than the Rumble. Big speaker as well. So, That's yeah, and a 115 yeah. instead of 112. So yeah, there's a little there's bit of trade there. Yeah. It, it, I guess it basically it comes down to what do you want, not is one better than the other, because they both stack up in terms of both being really good amps, especially yeah. for the money and the size. So. Totally. Yeah. Oh no, totally. And I think um, that's definitely doing a Mark Basie thing. Let me. I mean, for me, it's like. Uh, not that I use it too much now, but back pickup, like if, if the back pickup sound with this, obviously it's like pushing that mid range thing. Yeah. So um, I'm just going to bump the low. I'm just going to bump the low and the mid, have the, the high on 12, just for my own little nosiness. <laughs> That's, that's got that, that honk that's coming through, yeah, but it does. with, doesn't miss any of that low end to, to me, you know, and that's um, something where, just personally, again, I haven't played these for a little while, again, it's been a little while here, but um, that's the only thing that ever really, I sort of felt was missing. A yeah. little bit more of the low end, um, which I think you're getting with the 115 mm. there. So that would be my little personal, personal little 
preference, yeah. as it were, just a little yeah. bit more low, a little bit more clarity. Um, but I mean, feeling that, that, that is like air. Like, I don't understand, <laughs> there's just nothing in it. It's ridiculous. So um, yeah, yeah, no, definitely good comparison and, and absolutely worth looking at that Ampeg as well, you know, yeah, it, it has amongst it. Um, obviously, because that, that seems to keep that ampeg -y sort of sound as well. Yeah. So they seem to all be doing their thing around the same sort of money. And as Cece said, just make your own mind up, make your decision. Let us know as well in the comments, please. You know, look, what, what you hear from this video, if you personally, if you've got one yourself or you're thinking about maybe you've got a rumble or maybe you want to change something like this, you know, just we're really interested to see what you actually think. Yeah, you know, so um, please do let us know. That'd be great. I think that's probably about it, isn't it? That was a nice symbol. Yeah. Welcome to the world, Mark Bass. What are they called? Mark Bass, CMD 150 Black Line. There we go. There we go. You've got a mate now, Mr. Rumble. <laughs> So uh, yeah, that's it. So, if there's any other videos you'd like to watch, there's, there's things coming up in the corners here. Please give us a like, subscribe if you haven't already, and join us for more bass videos very soon. Yeah. Nice. See you shortly. Ta-ta.